Hey everyone, it's Marcelo here from youliketotravel.com. I hope you've been enjoying all these travel vlogs. The goal is to showcase these incredible places to make your life a little bit easier when you travel around the world. And I just got back from Lisbon, the stunning capital of Portugal. It's one of the most charismatic and vibrant cities in Western Europe. And as a travel destination, Lisbon offers a rich history, sightseeing, amazing food, and it's blessed with an awesome year-round climate. And Lisbon perfectly reflects the Portuguese culture, which embraces modern culture while maintaining its unique heritage and traditions. And Lisbon is constantly recognized as one of the greatest cities in the world, a claim conferred by the Lonely Planet Guides, which named Lisbon as one of the top 10 cities in the world to visit, so don't miss it. We stayed at Airbnb, which was a great selection, arriving by Hualdo, perfect location, and this is a great spot if you want to be in the middle of the action. You literally go downstairs and you have everything from restaurants, sightseeing, bars. The only bad feedback is that you have to go up five floors to reach the apartment. This is especially not fun if you're on a Euro trip on your fifth country in 15 days, imagine that. So sightseeing, if you're into sightseeing, Lisbon is definitely for you. It reminds me of Portuguese version of Barcelona. There are so many churches, monuments, views and others. This is a city for almost all types of travelers. Some of the highlights are the world's most expensive chapel, Castelo de São Jorge, an iconic landmark, Arco da Rua Augusta, beautiful arch, Praça do Comércio, Belém Tower, San George Castle, Parque das Nações, Perado Museum, Mosqueiro dos Jerônimos, and it was actually built in honor of Portugal's day they discovered. And also, there is a beautiful aquarium, Leveiro de Santa Justa, and which has a beautiful city view. Don't wait in line, just find the bridge that connects to the elevator, and we will skip this long line there. You can also do a Lisbon hop on and off bus tour, and it's one of the most popular ways of seeing the city. I always try to hire local guides by the Vieira website. It's also worth it to spend that money with traveling with a local. Food spots, Mercado da Ribeira, amazing food court. This is the highlight, the food highlight of the trip. Mercado de Campo, 
uh, the smaller food court, Cervejaria Ramiro, Portuguese institution, Decadente, Cantinho do Aviles, Tajid Wine and Tapas and Bar, Kiosk and Churrascarias all over the city from Mediterranean, Atira de Al Rio, Cime in Chiaro, Seafood, Ponto Final, Merendinha do Arco, Cantinho Lusitano, Marisqueira Nunes, Tasquinha do Lagarto, Hamburgueria da Padaria, so many options. While you're in Lisbon, you had to eat a pastry called Pastel de Nata. It's all over the city, you really can miss it, and it's so good. This pastry will make you remember Lisbon for years. Also, the Portuguese are known for amazing breads and bakeries. Make sure to find a good one in the city because the bread, the breakfast and the sandwich are simply delicious. So don't miss that. And for food markets, Mercado da Ribeira, one of the trendiest spots in Lisbon. Uh, this is definitely the highlight, it's called the Time Out Food Court. It's a hot spot, the easiest the food highlight of the trip. Mercado de Campo de Urique, also it's essentially a smaller version of Mercado da Ribeira. Mercado de Fusão as well. For nightlife, Bairro Alto has many bar options to choose from. Urban Beach, one of the city's most stylish club. Club Lux, Bairro Alto Bar Hop, which is Lisbon Lively Street Party. Docas, Cosmopolitan Bar, Chapito, which you're gonna have drinks among the artists in some of the best nighttime city views. And also Senhor Vinho, the city's best fado house. Pavilion Chinese. The city's most eclectic bar, up art as well. Watch the sunrise with the sound of music and Cinco Lounge, the best cocktails in town. Uh, if you want to put a workout in, Envy is a great little gym next to Bairro Alto. They even have a steam room, it's a great spot. For shopping areas, Freeport, Lisbon Fashion Outlet, Chiado, the main streets are Rua do Carmo, Rua Garrett, where you also find the world's oldest bookstore and the city's most beautiful jewelry shop. Príncipe Real, this has become the most interesting shopping district. Avenida da Liberdade, think of this as the local Champs-Élysées, a long street filled with uh, some of the major luxury brands. And also Baixa, Rua Augusta, the main pedestrian shopping street in town, offers both local and international brands. And also Bairro Alto, which is no longer an alternative for a shopping district, but a few interesting shops did survive, especially in Rua Norte, Rua das Salgueiras, Atalaya, and Rua Rosa. Rua is just a street. Casino. If you want to try a blackjack skills, you want to go to Casino Lisboa. Pretty good with almost all of all the card games. And the sound advice is, taxes for most part are pretty fair. They follow the same clock. It's probably one of the best ways to move around the city. For some reason, Uber was never able to find us. So go taxi. Portuguese go out late. Start at Bar Alto, then head to the clubs after if you want to get your groove on. One of the things I was disappointed how busy the city was in the summer. I mean, every step you take, there were tourists, but more tourists, and tons of souvenirs. So my best advice is check out Lisbon just before or after summer to avoid long lines and all the tourists. Because Lisbon now is one of the hottest destinations in the Eurozone. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thanks a lot for watching. Please thumbs up, leave in a comment below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want more travel tips like this. And don't forget to connect on my social links below. I am on Instagram, Facebook page, of course here, YouTube channel, Pinterest, and always remember, be chatting and buy experience you like to travel.com.